discuss the importance of hardware and device replacement in maintaining optimal performance of computing systems, emphasizing considerations such as compatibility, upgrading and troubleshooting. Is it a hardware replacement is unnecessary as troubleshooting can resolve all performance issues? Is it B compatibility, upgrading and troubleshooting are integral aspects of hardware and device replacement? Is it C upgrading is the only consideration in hardware replacement and compatibility is not essential? And or is it D organizations should avoid troubleshooting and rely solely on hardware replacement to address performance issues? Choose one answer in our five seconds. And the correct answer is B. Compatibility, upgrading and troubleshooting are integral aspects of hardware and device replacement. And now for the incorrect answers, option A. Whilst troubleshooting is essential, certain hardware issues may necessitate replacement. Option C. Both upgrading and compatibility play crucial roles in effective hardware replacement. And option D. Troubleshooting is a fundamental step in identifying and addressing performance issues before considering hardware replacement. And for the next question of our exam, question number two. And the question states, compare and contrast the various types of display components commonly found in mobile devices, discussing factors such as screen technology, resolution and touch capabilities. Is it A, all mobile devices use the same display components regardless of manufacturer or model? Is it B, display components in mobile devices vary with factors like screen technology, resolution and touch capabilities differing between devices? Is it C, screen resolution is the only significant factor in differentiating display components in mobile devices? Or is it D, touch capabilities in mobile devices do not impact the overall user experience? Choose one answer in our five seconds. And the correct answer is B. Display components in mobile devices vary with factors like screen technology, resolution and touch capabilities differing between devices. And now for the incorrect answers. Option A. Different manufacturers and models utilize varied display components to offer unique features. Display components vary across manufacturers and models. Option C. While screen resolution is a key factor, other elements such as screen technology and touch capabilities are also crucial. Multiple factors contribute to differentiating display components. And D. Option D. Touch capabilities contribute to a more intuitive and user-friendly mobile device experience. And for the next question of our exam, question number three. And the question states, explore various connection methods for accessories and ports of mobile devices, highlighting scenarios in which specific connections methods are preferred. Is it A, connection methods for accessories and ports of mobile devices are standardized and do not vary based on use cases? Is it B, the choice of connection methods for accessories and ports depends on the specific use case and requirements? Is it C, mobile devices have limited accessory and port connection options, restricting their ad adaptability? Or is it D, organizations should use a single connection method for all accessories and ports to simplify management? Tune was choose one answer in our five seconds. And the correct answer is B. The choice of connection methods for accessories and ports depend on the specific use case and requirements. And now for the incorrect answers, option A. Standardized connection methods may limit adaptability to different scenarios and use cases. Flexibility in connections me connection methods is essential for diverse use cases. Option C. Mobile devices typically provide various connection options, enhancing their adaptability. Mobile devices offer div diverse connection options. And option D, different accessories and use cases may require varied connection methods for optimal functionality. A single method may not accommodate, accommodate diverse accessory requirements. And for the next question of our exam, question number four. And the question states, discuss the importance of setting up and configuring accessories for mobile devices based on specific usage scenario, covering considerations like security, usability and productivity. Is it A, accessories for mobile devices do not require specific setup and configuration as they work seamlessly out of the box? Is it B, security, usability and productivity are important considerations when setting up and configuring accessories for mobile devices? Is it C, mobile device accessories have uniform setup and configuration requirements regardless of their intended use? Or is it D, organizations should avoid configuring accessories for mobile devices to streamline deployment? Choose one answer in our five seconds.
And the correct answer is B. Security, usability, and productivity are important considerations when setting up and configuring accessories for mobile devices. And for the incorrect answers, option A. While some accessories may work out of the box, others may require configuration for optimal functionality. Specific setup may be needed for optimal functionality. Option B. Uh, different accessories may have unique setup and configuration requirements based on their intended use. Setup requirements vary based on accessory type and use case. And option D. Configuring accessories is essential to optimize their functionality and ensure security in deployment. Proper configuration enhances functionality and security. And for the next question for exam, question number 5. And the question states, explore scenarios where configuring basic network connectivity, including enabling or disabling wireless or cellular data networks, is crucial for mobile devices, emphasizing the impact on battery life and data usage. Is it A, enabling both wireless and cellular data networks simultaneously has no impact on battery life or data usage? Is it B, configuring basic network connectivity has no effect on mobile device battery life or data usage? Is it C, the impact on battery life and data usage depends on specific scenarios where enabling or disabling wireless cellular data networks? Or is it D, organizations should always disable both wireless and cellular data networks to conserve battery life and reduce data usage? Choose one answer. You now have five seconds. And the correct answer is C. The impact on battery life and data usage depends on specific scenarios when enabling or disabling wireless cellular data networks. And now for the incorrect answers, option A. Enabling both networks simultaneously may increase power consumption and data usage. Option B. Configuring network connectivity such as enabling or disabling networks can influence battery life and data usage. And option D. Disabling networks may hinder device functionality and connectivity in specific scenarios, impacting user experience. And for the next question of our exam, question number 6. And the question states, explore scenarios where configuring basic mobile device network connectivity, specifically Bluetooth, is essential. Emphasize considerations such as device pairing, security, and compatibility. Is it A, Bluetooth device pairing is one-time process and does not require any security considerations? Is it B, security and compatibility are crucial factors when configuring Bluetooth device pairing for mobile devices? Is it C, mobile devices do not support Bluetooth connectivity, limiting their compatibility with accessories? Or is it D, organizations should avoid using Bluetooth connectivity due to security concerns? Choose one answer. You now have five seconds. And the correct answer is B. Security and compatibility are crucial factors when configuring Bluetooth device pairing for mobile devices. And now for the incorrect answers, uh, option A. Regular security considerations are crucial for maintaining a secure Bluetooth connection. Option C. Bluetooth is a widely supported technology in mobile devices, enhancing compatibility with various accessories. And option D. Secure configuration of Bluetooth mitigates security concerns, allowing safe usage. And for the next question of our exam, question number 7. And the question states, discuss the importance of configuring location services in mobile devices, focusing on scenarios where accurate location information is vital for application and user experience. Is it A, mobile devices do not require location services for application support or user experience? Is it B, configuring location services is only necessary for navigation applications? Is it C, accurate location information is crucial for various applications and enhances the overall user experience? Or is it D, organizations should disable location services to improve mobile device performance? Choose one answer. You now have five seconds. And the correct answer is C. Accurate location information is crucial for various applications and enhances the overall experience. And for the incorrect answers, option A, numerous applications benefit from accurate location information, improving their utility. Option B, location services have applications beyond navigation, contributing to diverse user experience. And option D, disabling location services may limit the functionality and usefulness of various applications. And for the next question of our exam, question number 8. And the question states, explore scenarios where configuring mobile device management, or MDM, and mobile application management, or MAM, is crucial for securing mobile devices and managing applications. Is it A, MDM and MAM are only relevant for large enterprises and have no impact on small organizations? Is it B, mobile devices do not require management solutions as users can handle application installations independently? 
is at sea, configuring MDM and MAM is essential for securing mobile devices, managing applications and ensuring policy compliance. Or is it D, organizations should avoid using MDM and MAM to simplify mobile device management? Choose one answer in our five seconds. And the correct answer is C. Configuring MDM and MAM is essential for securing mobile devices, managing applications and ensuring policy compliance. And now for the incorrect answers. Option A. Even small organizations benefit from MDM and MAM solutions for improved device and application management. Option B. MDM and MAM solutions provide additional security and control over mobile device management. And option D. MDM and MAM solutions simplify mobile device management while providing enhanced security and control. And for the next question of our exam, question number 9. And the question states, discuss the significance of configuring mobile device synchronization, focusing on scenarios where synchronization ensures data consistency across devices. Is it A, mobile device synchronization is only relevant for personal email accounts and has no impact on business accounts? Is it B, organizations should avoid configuring mobile device synchronizations to prevent data inconsistency? Is it C, synchronization is essential for maintaining data consistency across multiple devices and applications? Or is it D, mobile devices do not support synchronization, limiting data consistency? Choose one answer in around five seconds. And the correct answer is C. Synchronization is essential for maintaining data consistency across multiple devices and applications. And now for the incorrect answers, option A, synchronization is beneficial for maintaining data consistency across various accounts, including business accounts. Option B, configuring synchronization help, helps prevent data inconsistency and ensures uniformity across devices. And option D, synchronization is a common feature in modern mobile devices, supporting data consistency across applications. And for the last question of our exam, question number 10. But before that, ladies and gents, don't forget to drop a sub and share this video with your friends. And now back to our question. Explore the differences between Transmission Control Protocol or TCP and User Datagram Protocol UDP, focusing on their ports, protocols and purposes in network communication. Is it A, TCP and UDP are identical and there are no differences in their ports, protocols or purposes? Is it B, both TCP and UDP use the same ports and protocols, differing only in their purposes? Is it C, TCP and UDP have distinct ports, protocols and purposes, with TCP prioritizing reliability and UDP emphasizing speed? Or is it D, there are no specific ports or protocols associated with either TCP or UDP? Choose one answer in our five seconds. And the correct answer is C. TCP and UDP have distinct ports, protocols and purposes with TCP prioritizing reliability and UDP emphasizing speed. And now for the incorrect answers, option A, TCP and UDP differ significantly in their communication methods and characteristics. Option B, TCP and UDP use different ports and have distinct characteristics, not just different purposes. And option D, TCP and UDP have each have designated ports and protocols associated with their communication. Ladies and gents, this is the end of our exam. If and only if you found this video informative, make sure to drop a sub and share it with your friends. I hope you found this video useful and I will see you guys next time.